I've been 3D printing now for two and a half years. And I firmly believe when you get right down to it, it's not a science, it's, a, it's an art. Because getting it leveled in is almost like witchcraft. Hi, Dave here, DCBFX. Um, I want to talk today about 3D printing again, because, well, I broke broken record. Um, I'll just say a broken clock is right twice a day, right? Anyway, um, I've been using printing for my friend Larry, and I just had the worst day possible, as you can see in my hands. I was printing in my office, and I'm doing a lot of stuff. And, and um, well, one thing I, I want to share is this drove me crazy. Uh, in my area, uh, a couple of days ago, we had a storm. Well, not really in a storm. A lightning strike took out uh, a good portion of uh, the city, and my office was there. What you see is one day and 14 hours of a one day and 15 hour print. I had like that much more to go. Oh. And the thing is, the power went out at night. Uh, the CR10 V2 has a great resume function. Uh, I've never tried it, but I've read really great things about it. And well, because it did cool down for eight hours, the part was no longer stuck to the bed. And it's like, oh well, it's scrap. So I guess my idea is to, to do it again. Uh, I've got some better ideas for to printing it. Uh, I did the one, so I'm doing the other. So while I was doing other pieces, because I'm not gonna set it down for an hour, or sorry, a day and 15 hours again, until I make some changes. Now I did buy a UPS today, so I have one. So it's not gonna save me for five hours, but a blip, a brown out, a quick thing, it'll keep me going while I'm printing. So I'm printing a lot, so like 40 pieces for Larry. I was printing out this piece. Well, that's maybe a quarter of it. And I just was in the office and I'm fixing computers. I have lots of machines to fix. I've got 47 computers in to fix. Like it's constant 47, it is what it is. And I look over and sitting on top of my extruder, is all this. Apparently, filament broke going into the Bowden tube and uh, came and the extruder kept pulling it through, pulling it through. Pulling it through. Oh. So, here's why I'm calling it witchcraft or voodoo or whatever it is. Once I got it back to where it was, I just noticed that my bed level seemed off. So I re-leveled it. Then it was way off. And it kept playing around, playing around, playing around, playing around to get it. And finally, it's, it's doing okay now. But it's, it's crazy. It, it works and then suddenly it's off. And then it works and then it's off. And, um, but for a while there on this printer, it was just, it, uh, it was print and print and print. Like we saw the stuff I did for, for Guillaume, the, the buckle. And it just works and it just done, done. And give me this, give me this, give me this, give me this. And great. But just suddenly it just all got all out of whack. So I, I've got it back to where it needs to be. But it's just, it's voodoo. It's so weird, it's so weird. And I was then still fighting today with some things and a couple of pieces came out okay. I'm looking, I went, well, I've had this printer since, what, February, March? I haven't changed out the print head yet. Time for a new head. Oh, there you go, new print head and the clock's on, everything else. And everything's printing great again. But it's, it's not a science almost. It's like I, when I print, and I see things not working quite right. I'm in there with the adjustment knobs quickly. Oh, oh that's better teaching. I'm good to go. It's like it's a, it's an art form. Not that saying I'm, I'm very artful, but it's just it's it, it's it's a feeling. It's not an exact science, which is uh, well, that's what most of this hobby is, isn't it? It's just uh, that's what it is. Anyway, that's the video for the day. Um, yeah, these 3D printing stuff drive me crazy. But then the other side of it is, I'm showing pictures to Larry. He's like, oh my god, that's beautiful. And I go, well, I actually, I've got a better one of this. And he goes, holy crap, I really appreciate your attention to detail. So it is coming together, and I'll be done in another two weeks probably. It's, it's a whole great big bunch of small files that fit together into other things. So this goes into that, and that goes into that, and goes into that. It's going to be epic when it's done. Uh, Larry has the rest of it. He has the base helmet and everything else. I'm just adding all the little pieces to go outside of it. So... Uh, trust me, there will be a video eventually on that. Uh, even if it's just a video on, here's all the pieces I printed, and it'll be like a table full. 
That's it for today. Uh, I want to get this done before the storms come and the storm coming tonight. Uh, my print will be done though, and it's also on UPS. It'll be done uh, probably within the next hour, so I don't want to worry about it for tomorrow. It's just my life these days is a constant. Here's a three hour print, and here's a two hour print. Well, there's a six hour print, and there's this, and this, and this. Although it did uh, make me get off my butt and hook up a camera next to the printer so I can see what's going. I don't need to uh, get up and go. I can just fire it up on my phone. Oh, yeah, still printing. Or, oh, crap, things went out. Okay, I gotta go fix it. Well, that's me for today. Hope everyone is having a great day, and we will talk to you all later.